Welcome to the deciding Sunday. This is the GeoGuessr World Cup EMEA Regional Finals. This covers players from Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. We started with 16. Moving is our first game mode. You can move up and down the road that you're dropped on with no restrictions. Take a look at any signs that you would like to see. No moving, you're just dropped into one spot. You can do a 360 pan around, take in everything you can. And then in no move, panning, zooming, NMPZ, one image, and that's all you get to guess with. That's the most difficult game mode. And we already have eight of our 10 qualified players. The third players from each group move on to a last chance qualification. So so two of those four will enter the World Cup. But let's not forget about $21,200, which is up for grabs. We have our qualified players already from each region. That's a familiar name down there, CG. <laughs> Looking like an amazing lineup so far. And yesterday we saw some pretty expected results. Blinky and Consus and Debray making really strong performances. Marta, that was not something anyone predicted. Taking a look at the bracket, we do see how the rest of our players have fallen in. Everyone finishing third in their group heads to those last chances matches, which of course are taking place right before the grand final. Best player, but essentially some of the best players, if not the best players in the world today. You picked the right day to watch. Dupot is one of the most experienced players out here. I think I can beat him, yeah. Consus I know for a long time. He's definitely the strongest no moving and NPZ player that there is. It's going to be quite an experience. Consus is the world, reigning World Cup champion. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Wins percentage 70. Wow. That's not that's not normal. Topodic has to be at the absolute top of his game. 57% win ratio is not anything to scoff at. We're going to see some great gameplay between these two here. We get a Consus game one and a Topodic stare game one. We're being treated. We're still in best of three. We will later move into best of five. Round four, what is this? 2.5x. Quartz is taking a moment to scan his surroundings, to put it going further. Big countries, time and time again, and we see Topotic go on. Wow. Topotic, think... that was an easy send, Trevor. I really like this guess here by Topotic. He always takes the last second to open up his map, and he's going even more east. We'll see who's right. This is a big point. Oh, he's, pushing a big point. he's pushing back. Oh, he's thinking it could be there. And he knew oh! it was there. Topotic on the money there. I'm trying to see. It's game. 3x damage. It's suddenly game. Topotic takes the fast away from the reigning champ. Into the next game here. Ghana to start. Who's Ghana? Do a better job, Trevor. Your play on words are getting better and better. <laughs> I don't know who made you the authority on it, Trevor, but thank you. I, I made myself it. the authority. <laughs> Both Quite players. literally, Constance's fate comes down to this last round. Here. Yeah, it does. It's not a small country. So there's a chance here. Any player can win here. For Topodic, where? Argentina, 5.5x multi. Oh my. And we have one in Salta, one south. It's someone, Paula. Who is it? Has the Ponic done it? No, oh, Constance! Constance! NMPZ, here we come! Constance stays alive! And we get to see game number three. This next round should be a nothing burger. Like, it looks pretty Dutch. And we do see a Netherlands guess. Where's Constance gonna go? He's in between. He's going Denmark, Copenhagen, Sweden. It's oh, Netherlands. It's a Ponic. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. 2400 against the Dutchman himself. You get very little information. I'm just looking at this next round here. Southern Hemisphere, Brazil, my best guess, maybe Arge. We could see a big difference. We could see two different players here, here, and we could see one person taking this away. Comes down to this guess, I think. Wait a second, Constance, with 10 seconds left. Are you going Zar? He's eight seconds. He doesn't know. Oh, pain. Oh, he is. Oh, that's the game that's is going to end here. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone at home, who's it going to be? Oh, Toponic, you've done it. You've knocked out the reigning champ, Trevor. Look at the smile on his face. What a game. Topodic, of course, an absolute beast. Topodic takes down the Titan. One of the biggest things I did to like prepare was reading Finbar's like 122 page Russia doc. I don't really want to win against Finbar. I feel like I, I want him to win. I like him and I don't want to uh, dash his dreams, but I will nevertheless do my best. I think Defray is a very strong player. Definitely not someone I would have liked to see in the quarterfinals. He went 3-0 and didn't let a single game through at all. So he's a strong player, 58% win ratio. He's guessing pretty fast as well, less than 30 seconds. So he's a strong player. And what he was telling me upstairs before all this started today, he just does not want to see Russia, of course. Finbar, <laughs> the greatest Russia player in the world. Anytime you get to watch Debray play, it's a treat. Anytime you get to watch Finbar play, it's a treat. Them together, it's a double treat. It's a double treat, extra sweet. Game one, move. Really solid performance so far. We're only going into round four and Finbar's almost on half. On round seven, let's see if we can do it here. Brazil, ever Tokentins, Grass, anyone? Tokentins? Mato Grosso lock in here by Finn. He seems confident. It's closer to Debre again. Marinel. Oh, could that be it? Yes, yes it is. Debre, what a way to start 
your finals journey. This is not the Deborah we know. Yeah, he's it's a locked. different side of yeah. him. He's locked in. Do either of our players recognize this coastline? That's the question. A little bit more difficult here because there's no poles or anything like that to give you an advantage. There's quite a distance this here. could be a big point. Yeah, round one. <laughs> that could have been like a lot more points. Sometimes the metric is you don't have to be on the money, but if you are closer to it, you're going to get paid. That was a great one-liner there. <laughs> Hedging between Romania and Bulgaria. 1.5x. He's going to Italy. Oh, this could be big. Hungry. Oh, Debre the best. again. It's his house. Location that's, split them in half, but it was funny. Debre closer again. And Finn just found the roundabout and he 5k. Sitting on the beach together. And Finnbar, that is a 5k. He hasn't Debre lost any yet, points. Like, yet to be touched. Trevor, where are we at, brother? Looks like Peru. North Peru, potentially. Oh, Chile. That's also is probably the case. Under 30 seconds left now, Trevor. Wait, is he moving to UAE? It's Peru versus Chile. Oh my god. Why is he going UAE? Don't go UAE. Locked in. It's Peru. Oh. Debre, you've absolutely missed the mark. Finbar, thanks to the multi, taking Debre off the server in a ruthless, violent fashion. It's NMPZ, everybody. Whoever wins this progresses. Botswana, maybe another Gabarone, and we see Debre doing that. Instant Andy locks it in. Instant Andy. Game one goes to Francis. Oh, Finbar. What a guess. It's around 1, 1K. Debre going Serbia here. Belgrade. 1.5X. And just Debre, great job, my friend. 1,100 points. Taking Back and forth. The lead. Another turkey grounds here. We've had a lot of turkey. Call it Thanksgiving the way we'd be having turkey. And it's a This is definitely a meta strategy being played by Debre here. He's pushing the pace. He wants to be fast to act, and he's done it three times in a row. I actually almost like Finn's guess better. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be some good points as well. Interesting strategy by Debre here. You're probably going to say, oh, Trevor, where are we? I will not be answering that at this time. And Debra, Almost a full AZ. Debre looking for his redemption arc here in Turkey. Is it Turkey this time? He's locking it in, Trevor. Finn, unsure. He's going to oh, freeze. Trevor. Debra down 2,000 points. It's sort of in the middle. With 4.5x, it's 1.7k damage. Even Goodness. all the rounds of NMPZ. Both players' points are close. It could technically be decided anywhere, even if we were in a small country. But Trevor, I get the impression next is a big one. Indonesia. It's a 5.5x multi. He's going Jakarta. He's locked in. To Jakarta. Barely 300 if points. If he goes to go Jakarta, Finn wins because he's... No! Oh, it's going to be Finn! Loses. He's done it. He holds on to the lead. And it's the Irishman, not the Hungarian. Finbar will be advancing against Hepatic. It's different from everything I've heard everyone predict. Blinky is definitely one of the best players in the world, but I hope I do well. Kretsu has similar has a similar skill set to mine. I just think I have yeah, more experience. I think he'll do well. Blinky's stats here, another 70% win ratio here. Uh, he is another one of these players who win 3-0, not letting a single game through. Kratzo looking to pull another upset here. This is the French Derby, one Frenchman going through to the semifinals. It is the showdown of the Soufflés, the clash of the creme brulees, the battle of the baguettes. We are in for an absolutely amazing French showdown here in the quarterfinals. That was good. Blinky is considered, if not the best, He's the best. but one of the very, the best. very best moving players. So, Kratz, so this one is going to be tough. Here we go, round number one. Blinky, both players, looks like, what is this, like Southos? And this is going to be a Blinky moment, I think. Sure could be. And when you see Blinky just lock in like that, Casual 5k, the flick of the wrist. We'll see if he locks it down. And he has. <laughs> oh, starts out with a 4999. We have white car here. What is this, Peru? We'll see. The hop out of the marketplace and back into the main streets for more kind of useful information. And we see, and that's a great guess by Kratzu. And he finds it indeed, he does. Blinky tries to follow suit, but not to be, and that's a lot of damage. 2,000 at that. Let's see who has advantage here in Australia. Can you find the specific Caroline Kratzu? Oh, and uh, he found, found Westonia. Yep. He's on it in the city. He hovered his mouse right, he's on, right top on, top on top of it, Blinky. But he's going away. He does. He hasn't found the name yeah, of the he, city. He, 300 meters off. Great, great bounce back here for Kratzo. And this is where things get interesting, Toby. Sure is. Four times multiplier. Because we're in Kazakhstan. I would assume. And then Kratzu said, yeah. That's a quick lock. That's, 
Oh, Why look at his face. He doesn't want to look at Does the screen. Does he know he's right? Like either that was full knowledge. Pink he knows Boy he's wasn't right. praying. He's praying. He is praying. Chance that he couldn't be wrong. In a separate region. Blinky is far off on this oh one. Oh my he? god. He didn't get it in. He didn't get he it. He didn't lock it. He wins that. 17,000 damage. Blinky too slow on the trigger. And Kratz will take what moving. What is happening today? What? Can Blinky turn this around? Or can Kratz somehow write off the momentum? He just got off of that win. Head into the first round. Run it back in Kazakhstan. <laughs> That's, that's, the round, that's the round Blinky was hoping for before. Not to be, though. 2,500 damage round one. Dog meta? Dog. Well, 3.5 times multipliers now. The two things that you probably go here are accurate or like a weird MGDS or something. This could be game, it's even like if they're in the accurate. same country, even if they're in the same region. I feel like at this point, Blinky would have locked in already if he wanted to stress Kratzu on the pick. He's, I think Blinky's literally on the 5k. Kratzu has to, up, and he's, I don't like that. That is far off to the east. This I could be like game. That. Kratzu on low HP already. Is he this going to take like us either. in? Is this going to take us in? It might just take us all the way to the third round. Let's see. Yes, indeed, it will. 10,000 damage done. Kratzu down. We are headed to NMPC. Really, at this level of play, and you have to agree with me, this could be anyone's game. Ooh. Does it though? To me. Blinky looking towards Italy. I guess it could be Italy. Yeah, I like Italy. The only 1.5 multiplier. He keeps going Who's further closer? east. He wants to go He's Turkey. looking Istanbul. <laughs> and we all the way in. Oh my, that could have been. Oh, that could have been way more dangerous. Looking in round six here, because this should just be one of those roads outside Santa Cruz, Bolivia. What it looks like, I guess, unless I'm tripping. And we do see. You find it instantly. It's one of those roads that is extremely recognizable. And you can see it's going east-west, and both players looking on the four here to find the east-west road that lines up, and we are on the same road. Did Blinky just... He did, 45 meters up, almost headed but to like, a... But like, I don't even know what to say, because how did he just find the 5k without any... It wasn't Five even there. an intersection. Am I missing something here? Big brain, bro. And let's look in round eight. Indonesia? I could see, like, a, even a color Ecuador. So they're unsure. And when you're talking two continents, not just neighboring countries, they don't Ten dare locking Kobe. it in. Ten seconds. Kratzo is still yet to get away. Blinky is still yet to even put well, down Blinky the marker. Blinky be eliminated right he here. He hasn't put it down, but he's going to come in. eliminated. He's going to come in. This is going to be game regardless. Is, of it who has it. is it Ecuador? Which continent are we on? Come on, game. Tell us. It it's is. Kratzu. It's Kratzu to bring it home. Tons of damage. Make it almost 14,000. And Blinky what is happening? eliminated. Tons of spell. What is happening? Blinky falls. And here we have it, Kratzu, moving on. <laughs> a semi-final with neither Blinky or Kunsis. Who put that on their bingo cards this week? This is what GeoGuessr is all about. That's already crazy that I bit Blinky. I bit Blinky, like, that's, that, that, that sounds so weird. The tournament is busted wide open <laughs> now. <laughs> Any single person left can win. $5,000 for the winner at the end of today, but yeah, I have to ask you, do you value that or do you value this win over Blinky more? If I can have both, it's good. <laughs> Mata Kodiak coming up next. The winner of that will go against Kratzo. Playing against Mada will be an interesting match, I think. I remember him from Paris two years ago. He's a strong opponent, so everything can happen. Kodiak is a fantastic player. I can't underestimate him. It will be a really, really good fight, I hope. Yeah, we've seen Mata really make a name for himself here this weekend, winning three of his games, all three, I should say. There's no matchup where you have as equal skill set as on this one. They're both very much on point, right next wow. to one another. A tight game on this one. <laughs> Three times multiplier, else even else can be just six points separating Mata and Kodiak. Yeah, so this one should indeed be in Ecuador. I wonder if uh, Mata found any of those places. Wow. The crossing. Is it a 5K no shot. lined up? No shot. <gasps> it lines up. Just have it. He's right it on lines point. Up. What a Perfect 5K. On point. 56, 56 meters. Now, as we take it in to round number 10, the final one, the decider of the moving round. Can I tell you something, Toby? Tell me, bro. I've driven this exact road, past this exact sign. We have immediate info. This is probably bad for Kodiak. Points of 1,500, sorry, points separating oh, oh, them. Oh, he knows! He got he to close the instant he swims in. Oh, Flinders. Oh, no! He thinks he thinks it's Flinders National Park, but it's Flinders Chase National Park. Oh, That's a disaster. You the but you never know. So you never know what Mana knows or what he doesn't. He's going to Western Australia! He's this is a disaster! West. It's in South Australia! It's in this the is South... game! This is game! It is definitely going to be game, but who's oh, going to come out victorious? Kodiak! All fire! Bent, but oh, out victorious regardless! 9,000! 1,999 to give him the win. Round number six. Jalotras called it. They're very evenly matched they players. Mean, yes. 
barely anything between them in these jewels so far. We're looking at some Europe here, so we shouldn't see the end of the jewel. Yeah, we got the single white line. And I'm just looking at the landscape, super flat. I'm looking at the kind of season of the coverage. Um, also kind of being like maybe late summer or something. Not too sure about that. Oh, there's distance on this one. And Kodiak I did not on think. point. 3.5x damage. Is it enough? Oh, yes, enough. it is. Kodiak. Kodiak goes through. He takes out Mada in phenomenal fashion. Cold as can be. I'm a Downed by that one. Taking a look now at our bracket with all our four quarterfinals decided. Anything you can tell me about the current vibes in the building right now? I mean, everyone's kind of in shock. There's a lot of disappointed players sitting there, players who thought they'd make it further, understandably so. I mean, like, look, it's it's been a crazy morning of GeoGuessr where every single group leader, every single one who went undefeated has been defeated. We go through with a wide open bracket with tons of players who, you know, all of a sudden believe that they can actually win. We've got a banger coming up to Podic and Finbar. To win this tournament, it would mean everything for me. I've been playing this game for almost seven years. My hard work has paid off. Best of luck to our opponent. Let the better man win. Hoping it's a great game. Lock in. I feel like they don't tell the whole story here with that 52%. Then I think Finn has gone and learned a lot of information. For example, he's been learning his Kapu Parton and then a bunch of different area codes and did I not? <laughs> did he not? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I think I think I was capping there. Finbar, but, uh... live fact check. <laughs> Finbar going up against Tapotic. Are Tapotic's optics going to be on point? Or is nice. the finish going to go the way of the bar? That was good. That was good. Paul, this is the first to best of five. So with a 2.5x, that will that will be the biggest hit yet. That pace is building, Trevor. It's Round five now. Location. Actual crazy road here. Spain, Italy. Probably Italy. Let's see. Paul looks more Italian. Yep, should be Italy here. Where do you go in Italy is a question. Yeah, Italy is, you can get big points in Italy. And we see Finbar approaching the sign first. Does he know where that is? And he's going into Sicily. And we see a Sardinia zoom in here by Topotic. And they're Flies. staying. Both players are staying. Is he gonna move to Bari? He moves to Bari. Is he moving to Sardinia? He's staying there. Sardinia, ba Bari, who is it? Sardinia. Oh, Topotic, triple damage. That's gonna be a big one. 4,300. Not quite game, but Finbar now on death door. You know, Cambodia, small country but nothing you can't pick up 600 points in, especially on 3.5x damage. It could be game. It could be. Could that be enough? That's gonna be it! Wait. Topodic's done it! Trevor, we mentioned it. The smallest of margins with those multis, they add up. Our first no move of our first best of five. This one is fun. Both players should get Greece here. 10 seconds now. He's gonna stay though. He's staying in Croatia. Finbar really over here looking at Greek islands. That's and it's right. Finn that's closer. Topodic hates that face in the palm and it's 3.5k damage it's a huge swing where are these trees are these italian trees let's take a look maybe there's a chance here for topotic he needs to be closer or it could be gg for him finbar locks in first He's oh and topotic is closer we're going to the final round round 10s very special points are important here a lead is important is it ever a belgium i go france topotic needs a blunder by finbar here 10 seconds to put it still yet to open his map. He's going he France. finally does it and he goes France. Is it France or is it Belgium? Someone wins. It's either person's game. It's but France. to Oh, is it enough? It yeah. is. It's got to be. Truly. Unbelievable. Yeah. And look at that. The fist in the air. To put it, you go up 2-0. We go back into moving. Sometimes me and Trevor are sitting on our chair. Sometimes we're standing. After that finish, Topotic bouncing back, clutching victory from the jaws of deceit. I'm standing on the floor. He is on the floor. I, I can't confirm. It was a knockout blow to Finbar, and I think it's taken a few of my brain cells away as well. And, you know, this is an interesting round with the Gen 3 coverage here. We have the snorkel. It's rare that you get Gen 3, Kenya, because it's Gen 4 now. We do see Topotic just outside Nairobi. And Finbar, yet to find information. He's going Western. Oh, Kenya. wow. 2x multi. It this could be big damage. Big points. If, if, if Topak is right, and he is. And he is. That's got to be a 5K. Give it to us. Oh, no. One point off. 2,000. Losing 2,000 points on Kenya in round three is actually three. crazy. Keep it up. USA. Ron's hardware in the distance. Zoom in on the sign And here. right now, Topotic's robotics have the hardware. Topak sees the sign that says Kentucky. Finbar did not see the sign that says Kentucky. Topak, if I'm you, instant send Kentucky. He locks it in. Greensboro. He's going He's going to the wrong. Oh, wow. 3x damage. Surely to put it closer again here. Yes. And he is. How much damage is it going to be? Quick math. It's enough. That's 
it. Quick, man. everybody, we have our first oh, grand oh. finalist. It is Caponic from Spain. The S is not silent. Finbar out of the year at Middle East and Africa regional finals. He will be going to the World Cup. And what better way to top it off than the handshake? A solid handshake. A solid handshake. We're making progress out here. He wins the best of five in three. Players with their names starting with K. These guys are both really strong at moving, and we're going to see a really good fight, I think. The goal was to go to the World Cup, and it's done. Now it's just bonus. It's just fun and, yeah, having fun. It would be nice to win, but after the semis, I already like proved myself, I feel like. Um, and then afterwards, everything's just a bonus. I think it's going to be a great game, and uh, whoever wins uh, will win. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Have a great game, and let's go. Kratzo versus a Kodiak. This is going to be amazing. So if Kratzo beats Blinky and Kodiak beats Kratzo, does that mean that Kodiak is better than Blinky? Let's find out. Let's find out. Moving. This will probably be smaller points. And it looks like it may be Rwanda, but we'll see. Looking yeah. for Mohanka. Any Mohankas yeah. in the chat? Wait, did Kodiak just not see that he saw it there? He found it. He scanned it over. Maybe it, there it is. Second. There it is. It's going to but be very close. 5K. It is a 5K for both of them. A wow. 10K in the club here. That's close by. Regardless, again, Zero. look at this. I mean, once again, a tight game. These guys, when I mean, the death said it, it's going to be hard to predict. It's going to be hard to call a winner. This is a free South Africa for both players, obviously. Scanning for bridges now. They're going to be east-west, seeing if he can make anything that lines up. And Kratzu doesn't... He's, they're separate regions of South Ooh, Africa here. Three times Big multiplier. Point. It's, this is going to be huge, and it's going to be Kratzu who's closest. Is it going to be enough to take him all the way yeah. down? Yes, it is! Kodiak loses the first. Kratzu up 1-0. As a flawless victory there for Kratzu. Let's see now if things are going to be any different as we take these players, not out of their comfort zone, but at least out of their favorite play style. And we move on to round eight north somewhere. And we see both players kind of up here in the same region. Yep. Kodiak zooming in. So is Kratzu. They're holding it all the way till the end. Kratzu, hands on his head. 2,800 points. And he has 800 points in a dream left before he's down 0-2. Yellow outer lines, black car, Jordan. They're going to be so close. Is it going to be enough? If you can get just 1,000 points off here if you're Kodiak for Kratzo, that would be absolutely huge. But let's see who's going to get it. They oh are God. practically on point. Yet another 10K. It's going into round 10. It's the last round mm -hmm. of this game. Kodiak down 0-1. Looking to tie it. He's a big country. He needs a big one. You what are a big we country? Give, give it. The USA. Boom. Oh, Cost we have an Oregon travel. sign there. We have an Oregon sign. They both see it. Just Aware. the viewers, where is the sign exactly? No. Kratzu's throwing. Oh, Kratzu's not, sure. not sure. He's throwing. Not sure. The throwing. info is there. He's going far oh west my now. God. There is the Oregon. It's not winnable. Yeah. That's GG's. And if Kodiak maybe just sent earlier, should have locked it off guard. Yep. Back to moving we go. It's game number three. This could be a winning match for Kratzu if it brings it home 3 0 over Kodiak. If I know anything about Kodiak, so this man likes Indonesia. Well, let's give it to him. Let's see if he can bring it home. It is a pretty dangerous time. Looking back at Kodiak's previous duels, it's been paid. the times where he's locked in Kratzu quickly. Just paid. The islands that he sees over the distance there make so much sense. Kodiak, North Sula. same island, but further Not towards quite. the east. Yes. And that is going to be Kratzu almost 5K, one kilometer off. You know, Kodiak, I think, has spent a lot of time recently playing with other players, trying to learn what he can for this. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if Kratzu is one of the things that he took a lot of time learning. He's locking a city, and it's going to be a different city than where Kratzu is. Times multiplier. This could be huge for Kodiak if he has some info that he wants to go off. It and he does! Perfect position there. Almost 5k once more. And look at the amount of damage. It's not just even. Now Kodiak is ahead. These guys are playing phenomenal games. They're in the zone. Let's keep them there. The auto zone. Could make his way to the grand finals against the party Locked if in. he wins this game. Looks like Luzon. He has yet to zoom in. Five more seconds to work with. You gotta start getting the map up and open. Now he goes there, he zooms in. That's south. far south. Is he gonna adjust? It's, he goes even further away. It's and it's actually closer to Kratzu. 2K. Kodiak has to have more health left remaining after this next round is over, or else he is out of the tournament. What if I told you that Kodiak's European regional finals here comes down? To the Oibrubs. Let's see if he can bring it home. Let's get these players back Yo. on it. See if he can win this one. And I mean, I say win it, but stay alive. If Kratzu takes this one, as long as Kratzu does not lose more than 1,513 HP, he is going to be okay. Kodiak zooming in. Alpha zoom. Is it a quick lock? lock? It. Is it a quick lock? He's, He's on the point. Full gamble. All in. He's, the cards are on the table. He goes for the way. This is five on five. It's Kodiak. It's Kodiak. 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 Quick maths, is it? 
it's for no! Lose. Kodiak loses just a couple of points off, but Kratzu with an impressive 3 0. I mean, what a game. A Kratzu to Podic finals is not anything anyone ever saw coming. That's insane. Kratzu is looking scary. We are heading into our two last chance matches. The pressure is on, as the name says. It's the last chance to make it to the World Cup. They get a full best of five to showcase that insanity. Armani's skill set in NM and NMPZ is definitely very scary. I should have an advantage in the moving games. I'm assuming that he will send quickly, so I will have to hurry up. So that favors him, I think. He was really strong in his group stage games, especially in the moving games. So that's where I have to really look out for him. These games have a higher stake than any games that we've seen today. If you lose this, you go home. If you win this, you go to Stockholm. The first of two last chance qualifiers to get to the World Cup. We've got Hungary and Zalek and the Netherlands and Armani. Well, obviously it's Turkey, but then you go where in Turkey? They're already in round five. We're going quickly. Yeah, and is he going to instant zoom and just go Armenia border? And he's locked in. Oh! And he's going he's going Syria border. Quite Someone's, a difference oh wait, Armani doesn't like his guest. He's shaking his head. 3x damage. No. Oh, but it worked out, Armani. Nothing to shake your head at. Could that be it? No, no. not quite. Close to 5k. That's where playing fast plays to his advantage. Absolutely. As we move into another big country where we could see game either way. Nothing here valuable to any player. It looks like oh. you have a water hedge and a Sumatra guess. Different locations. It's oh, Zalek. And Zalek. Fantastic job. 3.5x multi. It's, it's enough damage. First game goes the way of Zalek and Hungary. Zalek was ready. He was ready for the pace that Armani was pressing. Here we are. No more moving. Next round. This is a beautiful mountain range here. Rainbow and Rhodes in between mountains. Name a more iconic duo. I will wait. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Pretty iconic duo. Three times multi now, Trevor. In Austria and in France. And he wants to move to the Alps. In France, he, he doesn't. It's Spain. Armani's done it. Pyrenees. Bit of damage. 3K. And this is the second time in a row he's had Salik at like 1K health. Not going to be possible here, I don't think, to eliminate him. Pretty standard lift or Baltic, that is. Well, he is AZing. And he is insta sending. He's going to Estonia. Zalek's going Estonia. Wait, he could lose here. 3.5x. Is he losing Armani's Baltic? closer. That's going to be game, Trevor. That's game. 1-1. One, one, we're tied up. So we're back into game three, which is moving. Three. Mexico. This looks like US border or something of the like. We'll see. Yeah, and we're gonna be right there. In. That's a great guess. Wait! Oh Zalek. Oh no. Oh, this is a big difference. Trevor. It's oh, is that a 5k? Quite literally close. Oh, three points off. What a guess. And you are rewarded greatly, Armani. Is it Peru? If the new Gen 4 Peru here. Are they close they're close again? They're close again. They're close again. They are, they are, they are. Oh! Wait. No. no, 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 no. Did they just they were on right top on each top other? of each other? Me and you both thought, like, did yeah. someone move to the 5k last second? That's hilarious. And now he takes the lead back going into the penultimate round, round nine. And then I look at round nine, and I think no one wins here either in Cambodia. Is this Southeast Pocket? What is this? Non pin? North? We'll see. 5x damage. Onto the map. And he's going to send that. He's going to lock it in. Actually, he could pick up. Oh! Is that ever enough? Oh, Armani! You had a bit more time, and yes. Zalek so close to the 5K. He's one game away from securing his spot at the GeoGuessr World Cup. It was close. Calm, Every time calm. he does that, I think he's doing like the LeBron stomp. It's like a top flight footballers. It's a common celebration uh, after a goal. Big culture. Soccer? Yeah. <clears throat> sorry, say that again. Sorry, sorry. Trevor? Football. <laughs> yeah. Game four, back in no move. As we move into round six, I'm thinking, what an interesting location here. This is the only 360 panorama the players will be getting. And it should just be Russia. I'm not sure where else you go here. Southern Russia makes sense, actually. Yep, that makes a lot of sense how dry it is. And that's, yeah, I think oh. our point right on the dot. The 3.5. It could multi. still be massive points. Yeah, though. there could be big points here. And oh, Armani. That is incredible. So close to the 5K. So this should be Kolo. Salak has yet to open his map yet. Where's he going? He's going Ecuador. Oh, he's going this Ecuador. Is massive points. Nope, he's going nope. Kolo. And they're somewhat close again. Somewhat close. Oh. The multi. Zalek, what a brilliant late guess. 1,700 points. Last second. We have a Philly here. You go south, you go Minden now. What do you do here? You click Cebu. You go Luzon. See a Cebu. Zoom in here by Zalek, and we see a Minden now. And he's hedging. He's looking the coast. Scanning the coast here to figure out where he wants to go. And he cannot find a road that lines up. And he's circling Mindanao, saying it could be here. Zalek locks in. This is massive points. Someone comes away. Is he moving? Where is he going to stay? Who Three. is it? Does Zalek advance? Oh. Armani! Armani, what a guess. 
He's sort of in between, but Armani's closer, and we will see NMPZ two to two. One will be going to Stockholm in September for that World Cup, and one will be going home. We move on to the next round very quickly here. We have a single yellow road line indicating Canada. This guess by Armani is the most logical guess there under these guess under these circumstances. Armani looked at the image for about six seconds, eight seconds before he locked it in, quite close to each other. Oh, but Armani is just better at the end of round four. And a 2.5x multi means that that is 3,580 points of damage. And this next location is easily the location to end it all. Urban USA. A vast range. He's locked here. in Chicago. If he stays in Kentucky, Lexington, don't think so. One second, who is it? Armani! Minneapolis. Is that enough? That's gonna it's be gonna enough. It's gonna be enough, Armani. You've done it. It took all five games. It took an unbelievable NMPZ, and he will be coming back to Stockholm for the World Cup in September. Oh my, that was absolutely sick. But now it is the tragedy of saying goodbye to either Crooks or Lenly. Yeah, I think Crooks is a super strong opponent, especially on no move. And if he is on his A game, then I might struggle. Lenly, I, I know he has a lot of skill and uh, I don't want to underestimate him in our game. It would be an enormous relief to qualify. Playing in front of a home crowd in Sweden, it would, it would be fantastic. It would feel absolutely amazing. CG, you think Lenly might have a bit of a well-rounded shot here? Strong foundation of skills. He's a really strong player. We've seen him go to the top eight in the World Cup last year. On his player card here, he's mentioned Crooks as one of the biggest challenges. Oh, no. So he knows he's up against good competition, but Crooks knows this as well. So these two guys, they're strong players, and I can't wait to see what happens. There is one spot for these EMEA players left to take in the World Cup in September here in Stockholm. Will it be the dancing German and ever so smiling Lenly, or will it be Crooks, the Minecraft extraordinaire? the enigma of what has been the entire tournament. This is a game I've been waiting for all day. Game one, round one, move. Crooks versus Lindley. What signs, what info they have to go off of, unless if Michelle there. We have Mexico poles here, and we do see Crooks immediately yeah. zooming in north, and he's just gonna, oh, he has information. Oh, he's on the highway already. He's locked in. Just Lindley does not have the same info, and he's going he's to the south. Mexico it's City crooked. It's normally a good guess, but this is border territory. A ton of damage coming through right from the bat. That is one of the highest round one damages we've seen, we've the seen in the entire tournament. He knows the National Forest, New Mexico. It is New Mexico, and he's there. He's going to log it. He That's the right forest. Where is Lindley going to go? Could Lindley ever get two rounded here? Because you could easily knock on New Mexico. This is a sleeper in New Mexico. That would be insane. Let's he's see in New where Mexico. He goes. He's all the way up to Albuquerque. But it's still... He says, give me the old compass. He's got the time. He's got the time. Let's just change it, but it's Crooks, Crooks again. Right on point. He is coming in hot as can be. 1,100 1, damage. And we I see know. a Manaus guess here, and he's locked in. Lindley's going slightly more south. It should not be GG just it yet. It could be. It would be if, if Crooks is on there. It's actually Lindley this time. Lindley to find it. Good game. 3, Good damage. 3,000 what looked to be potential downfall for Lindley. Round six of 10 as we move into Czechia. We do see difference, and it's actually going to go to Lindley. Lindley again fighting back. Blow after blow here, it's going to even out eventually 900 damage as he now sits just 300 ahead. This could be game. This could be. This is where Lindley lost like 3,200 points in round one. True. Taxi. And Crooks is going Yucatan. Ooh. Both players going Yucatan. Does he have the info he needed? He will go out on the peninsula, but he's on the western side of it in Merida. Who's right? East or west? It's Not gonna go off and it's Lindley. Is that a 5k? Almost, almost a 5k, Is tons enough? of damage That's coming enough. through, and it will be enough! Lenly, despite going down 3,200 on the very first round, claws back it into back? it and takes game number one. As we headed into no move. Crooks taking the 1,700 point advantage going in. He has yet to lose any points in this number True. game. He was looking very solid in the previous one, too, until all of a sudden Lenny started punching back. Nigeria, follow car here with Hills. Crooks is trusting too. the Abuja, Abuja Hills. Yeah. Lenny going slightly more east. Ooh. He's in between a couple of locations. Lenny is bouncing back and forth. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, he was looking to go even further it's away. And, oh, the Eeny was right. The mo was not. Crooks is going to take it. Once again, plenty of damage coming through. 1,800. Round six. Where are we going to see? We can him? turn to the back of the car here and see black car antenna with these colo fences. This will be Colo. See, five more seconds. Neither one too interested They're in pretty far away. In. Enough to get points. It's 3.5 multiplied. It's it could crooks be huge. It's Crooks to his closest once more. Lindley. Someone. It's going to take some big damage it's here. Big. It's going to be enough. And Lindley will fall 1-1. One, one. It's the scoreline. And Crooks winning that game without taking any damage. Huge. We're back to moving. And this is what we wanted to see. Looks like we're moving to round three here with the Russia. Both these anything. players also zoom in on the antenna immediately. They know what that means. Area nope. codes reading. Crooks can definitely read Cyrillic at this level. Plenty of text to go by. 
and he's going north of Moscow. Makes sense. And he's locking it in. I think bro just read the town on that sign. He's further towards the western side. Two times multiplier. It's not going to be much, but it's still going to be wow. quite. It is crooks. Does he 5k that? No, but almost. Wow. Absolutely huge damage coming through. We have Nigeria here, obviously, with the follow car with this camera. 2.5 multiplier. Nigeria, a big enough country that if they go opposite regions, it could be very, very painful. Yes, Potentially even a loss for Lindy. Yeah, I mean, with Lindy, it's 25 points, 2,500 points. That Lindy was hoping, but it wasn't meant to be both of them on points. 5K. Solid 5k from Crooks. Lindy needs at least 2,400 damage onto Crooks in order to bring this one home. We're on round 10. We are. One round. To rule For them all. either player, pack your bags. We're going to Peru. Big enough country that Lindy could bring this one home. But it's anyone's game. Is Kobe. it enough info? Just offer what you see here, Trevor. Is it enough info for them to instantly lock it in? No, no, no. I mean, Ooh. is, is he, his goal Lindy, is to lock he's in? He's going for it. Lindy is he's gambling. Ball. He's also going south. They're close. Will it be south enough? Oh, he's going further Lima, north. Lima he's going far further north. He did it. And he gets it. He plunks straight into the win, and that is going to be two rounds in a row for Crooks. Lenly down once more as we head into round number four. Now we're back into no move. We're moving to round five here. We're going to be in Nigeria. We have the follow car here, or the police follow car behind us. Super, super dry. See who can make a grid. And we see Lenly going immediately. To so just quick blocks. Second one now. Crooks reconsidering Looking for, for a, a grid second. lines up in the city with east-west roads. Crooks is reconsidering this. He went there initially, but he went back off. He should have stuck with his initial idea because this is going to be Lindley hitting 2, hard. 2,400 damage. Big that. for Lindley. Big for Lindley to try and bring this into the final fifth game. This is interesting. We're on the graveyard. This could be where one of these guys will indeed fall. Toby, I don't know. I think it's Baltic. It looks like it. Estonia is Estonia, the choice. I like this. Don't you lock in. Lindley's shaking his it's head. He's not Baltic liking countries. it. He's Lindley not liking it. Three, two. He's going to America. Ask. This is going oh, to be no. game. That will be it. And he gets it. Crooks takes it. Lenly out of the run Crooks for the World Cup. To Stockholm. The Swede is going to represent Sweden at the World Cup in Stockholm. And those are our two last chance winners, Armani and Crooks. Yeah, this is an absolutely amazing finale here. Probably two players that people weren't really expecting to see, as you said. So this is really an exciting matchup. Tepotic, a bit more of a veteran. Kratzo, newer to the game. Tepotic has been, well, you really could hardly think of someone who's more experienced because it has been seven years of consistent play for him, including the making of a rural world, one of the most popular GeoGuessr maps. If we get like a very, very strange round, I definitely favor Topodic because he's just really seen most things. That being said, there are several types of rounds that favor Kratzo, having a lot of information on particular countries where he's worked out systems, memorized certain things. Good luck. Hoping it's a great game. Let's go. I honestly believe Topodic has what it takes. I've seen him play so well throughout this tournament. I think he's feeling a little bit nervous right now. Shouldn't stand in his way here. He is going to play fantastically, I feel. Kratzo making it through despite everyone's predictions uh, being against him, and he's here in the grand final. He keeps getting better and better the more we watch this tourney. If anyone predicted this finals matchup here, I called you a liar. Both well-deserved and well-earned. But who saw this coming? They are here. $5,000 on the line. Also, the bragging rights to be able to say, I am the king. I am the champion of Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Game one moving. Starting now, Mexico. We have short plates, Gen 4 blue car. Oh, we have Topog finding information. Kratzu also finding information. We have a Sonora zoom in here, and he's scanning. He's locked in. Topodic locks in first. And Kratzu is going to get there right after him. Look, they're on the Literally. <laughs> Great first guesses by both players, and neither loses a drop of blood. Both players yet to open their maps. Kretsu's going back to the beginning. Yeah, this will be a last second plan for both players, but they both have information that they will be using. We have an Osaka guess here, and we have a Tokyo guess here. It's Tokyo. Kratzo, great guess. And with a 1.5x, that is solid damage. Round four of 10. Kratzu has yet to lose any damage. We're in Australia. And Kratzu finding signs. He's looking for Howard. And he found Howard. He's found it. That's going to be know. a strong guess. We have guess. a big guess here. Topodic with a lack of information. Kratzu 5k and, and Topodic and Vic. And it's a 2.5x. Trevor. Oh my. Kratzu, what have you done? Is that game? Yes, yes, sir! It is! It's 7,000 points of damage! And Topodic is back where he probably feels a little more you know, at home here in the no-move category. Round 7, both players will recognize this as Cambodia with Poop Cam driving right. Kratzu north. He's staying max north Cambo. He's locking it in. It's just Phnom Penh. And that is such a guess by Topodic. 1900. 
This is Italy. Shut the pizza. Maybe Kratzo should try to push the pace. Maybe put some pressure on Topotic. He locks him in. A he, he does move a bit here. faster. Topotic, this is ever. Topotic's guess is even better, Trevor. 1200. Kratzu needs 4,500 points in round 10 here. Paula, if I was to list countries from best to worst for Kratzu, this would be last. Watch his reaction. As there we see it. Smile, a pain he laugh. Knows. He's just guessing Antarctica. He's giving up. Kratzo, letting it go. Knowing. Game three, back to move. One, one. Two X, double. This is Kenya. We got this Kenya snorkel here. Welcome to Members Hotel. I want to be a member. Is that a hotel you've seen before, Kratzo? Wait. That's an AZ into a lock. He's seen the same hotel sign now. Does he know where it is? He doesn't. He's going to Nairobi. Oh my, Kratzo. So close to the 5k, and a 2x in round three means that is over 3k damage. Round five, this guy is directing the bus in Colo. 6k on Kratzo, Topodic under 2k HP, 3x damage. Looks coastal. And we see Topodic, he's going near this his is, capital. There, there's a, quite, there's a, quite a difference here, here, Trevor. Big there's point. massive points here. But who will he's they go to? North. He moves more north. Oh! And Kratzo 5k. That is gonna be game. Kratzo's gonna go up 2-1. Can he do it in no move? Or are we going to see now Topodic come back into this and take us to an NMPZ? Japan again. Kratz, who's even on that transformer. Zoomed in constantly after he saw that. And he locked it. it. There could be points here, Trevor. Oh, Kratzo. Unbelievable. And with double damage, that's a healthy 1,454. He's 4,000 points away from being the champion. We're in Malaysia. We have oil palms. He'd probably go Borneo. Is Tupac going to go mainland here? If he goes mainland, he will lose. Or the other way around. Kratzo he's locks. In. He pushes he's going the mainland. pressure. He's going mainland. It's someone wins. Trevor, could this be it? It's Topodic. Topodic. What a guess. And, and that's going to be game. Our grand final matchup. It could only ever be decided one way. If it's no move, no pan, no zoom. You get a still image and it's all you've got. And then PZ, game five starts here in Australia. I think this is a noggin user. You can see we have a slight pull. No. Oh, wow. No. Oh, crap. Why, so why did he just in Brazil? Not like this. There's oh. a sign in the background that is an Australian sign in the distance. Oh. Does no one see it? What is happening here? There's an Australian sign. Oh, my word. I have not seen anything like this before. There was an Australian sign in the distance no one saw underneath the tree. Round seven, Look round eight. 5,200 to 5,000. Because this is, everyone's going to get Taiwan. And Trevor, you are sure? Okay, so we're in Taiwan. Small country means... Small points. Actually, massive points. 1,000 points in Taiwan. Quadruple damage, paying dividends there. Are we going to round nine right now? We are going to round nine. Boss is Dustin. 5x damage, Trevor. Two answers here, I think. Colo, Brazil. Kratzu disagrees. He locks in Brazil. He says Brazil. Topodic. For the win, Topodic. What do you like? He's going Mexico. Three I seconds. I like Mexico too. Someone. Who is it? It's oh, going to no. be. Wait. It's enough? Surely. Is it? Does he win there? No. You would not believe it, but we're going to a round 10. Topodic is closer. He needs but a Kratzu round 10. But Kratzu was one. close enough to where oh. he survives with 171 points of life. At this point, Topodic wants a small country. Kratzu needs an opportunity here. Trevor, does he have one? He has a chance. Round 10, another chance to get Colombia. It's not free by any means. It could be Brazil again, actually, now that I look at it. Paul, I don't know what this is. We're under 20 now, what Trevor. What is this? He's going Colo. Kratzu yet to choose. Colo. Also, Colo, surely Topotic has if, done it. If they both stay here, Topotic is your winner. Three seconds now. It's time to crown a champion. It's Topotic. It's Topotic. He's done it for himself. Topotic, robotic skills. An absolute beastly performance across the three days. Shout out to Kratzo, but he just did not have enough. What an insane game. That is a game. 5K. And what better way to end it off than a firm little handshake. Everybody at home, give it up for your champion of the GeoGuessr World Cup EMEA Regional Finals. It is Topodic! Uh, thank you very much for supporting me. Muchas gracias por apoyarme. This was a historical day. The amount of talent standing right here before me is probably more than's ever stood together before. So it's an incredible tournament. Congratulations to Topodic. We'll see you in June for the Asia Regional Finals. Until then, we'll see you on geoguessr.com.